Hi, and welcome to the screencast. Today we'll demonstrate the Artifactory 5 high availability cluster installation process containing three nodes using a local file store on each node and having no shared file store. Our cluster storage will have a double storage redundancy, which means Artifactory will create two physical copies of any single binary across your cluster. We will use MySQL as our database. In a typical cluster setup, you'll be using a load balancer such as Nginx or Apache so that the Artifactory clients will be unaware of the cluster structure. However, this will not be demonstrated in this screencast. Before jumping into the actual setup, let's first take a look at the setup process. The setup process begins by setting up the primary node. We'll define the binary store configuration for the primary node, followed by the node identification setting and its database configuration. Then we'll install Artifactory and place the database driver in the configured settings in the Artifactory home folder. Now we'll be ready to launch Artifactory and complete the setup by adding the license key. At this stage, we can move to the second node. First, we'll create the bootstrap bundle that includes all the cluster configuration data and copy it to the second node. Following that, we can install Artifactory and place the bootstrap bundle. This will bring in all the required configuration to the new node. And now we can launch the second node. In order to configure the third node, we'll repeat the same steps we did for the second node, copying the bootstrap bundle and launching. Now that we've walked through the dry run, let's do it live. Setting up your storage configuration. Let's start by configuring the storage for our Artifactory cluster. There's a wide range of options for setting up your binary store using NFS, local file store, or any combination of these. In this screencast, we'll set up a local file store for each node. We need to modify the default binary store XML that's included within the installation for a local FS usage. At this point, you should decide on the architecture and topology for storing your binaries. Do you plan to store binaries on your node's file systems or using object storage such as S3, GCS, or any other S3 compliant object storage provider? Do you plan to use a shared network file system? Note that you might also consider a strategy for caching, storage redundancy, and so on. We recommend taking the time to read our Configuring Your File Store wiki page before you pass this point. Installing the primary node. Now we can get started with the primary node installation and bootstrap bundle creation. First, unpack the installation. Once done, we can create the primary node's HA node properties configuration file. We'll set this node name as art1 configure the cluster internal communication context URL and port, and set this node to be the primary node. Now we can set up the database in the Artifactory Home etc db.properties file. We'll point our configuration to the MySQL server and add the authentication credentials. Now we'll move and override the binary store XML file to the Artifactory Home etc binary store.xml path. To allow Artifactory to interact with the MySQL database, we'll copy the downloaded MySQL JDBC driver to the Artifactory Home Tomcat lib folder. Now we're done with the setup. Let's start up our primary node. When first launched, the Artifactory Setup Wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the initial configuration. First, let's add the license keys to our cluster. Then set the admin password and optionally configure proxy settings for your network.
Artifactory is a universal binary repository manager, and we can create any type of repository in it. For our demo, we will create Chef, Conan, Docker, Bower, and NPM repositories. Let's set the base URL. The base URL will be used by all Artifactory clients and should later on be configured with your choice of load balancer. Now we're done with our primary node setup. To set up the next two nodes, we first need to generate the Bootstrap bundle. This bundle consists of all the necessary configuration and security files required for our node to work with the existing Artifactory database. To generate the bundle, we will call the Create Bootstrap Bundle REST API endpoint on the primary node. This creates the bundle, Bootstrap Bundle tar.gz, and stores it under Artifactory Home ETC. We recommend backing up the Bootstrap Bundle to a folder that is different from where the Artifactory cluster data or Artifactory Home folder are located. This bundle will later on allow you to recover from any server loss. Installing the cluster nodes. We're now ready to install the second node. To start, we'll copy the Bootstrap Bundle to the second node. We will use SCP to make this copy. We'll also copy the Bootstrap Bundle to the third node for later use. Now we can unzip Artifactory 5 and create the HA node properties file on the second node. Notice the cluster communication context URL and port and that this is not set as the primary node. We'll also copy the MySQL JDBC driver to the Tomcat lib folder. And place the Bootstrap bundle under the Artifactory Home Etsy folder. And now we can start up the second node. We can now move to the third node and pretty much repeat the same steps we followed for the second node. We'll repeat copying the JDBC driver, place the bootstrap bundle under the Artifactory Home Etsy folder, and set up the HA node properties. Note that all of the rest of the node's configuration will be synced correctly as the node will start up. That's it! We're now ready to start the third node. We can now switch to the web UI and check out the cluster in action. Let's browse to the second node web UI and upload a new jar file into a Maven repository. We can see that the new artifact is stored in our binary store. Now let's switch back to our terminals and see where this artifact is stored. We'll browse the tree view of each node and we can see that there is a new binary that appears on two of the three nodes as we use a double storage redundancy.
Let's switch back to the UI and look at the high availability configuration in the administration pages. Here you can see the three nodes as we configured. At this point, you can use the reverse proxy configuration generator to generate a configuration file for your reverse proxy of your choice. The generated configuration covers all the necessary configurations including, for example, the Docker reverse proxy settings. Simply generate the configuration snippet and use it in your preferred load balancer. This concludes our Artifactory 5 high availability cluster installation video. You can follow our wiki documentation on configuring a reverse proxy. In case you're not using Artifactory yet, visit the JFrog website to download your free JFrog Artifactory Enterprise trial today. Thanks for watching.